How interesting is that? 400 plus horsepower out of a 300 horsepower engine. Yeah. Triple eight two two seven twenty five forty six. Allen. Now here's Allen with a, a Model T. Is that correct? That's correct. How many horsepower? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't race this thing. I just acquired it. <laughs> okay. I don't think they had horsepower when they had the Model T. Well, sure they did. Uh, they, they had to have something, but anyway, it, it yeah. runs. It's just not real fast. <laughs> I, hear, I hear you. What can I do for you? I, I wanted to ask, like I said, we just acquired it, and I wanted to ask, do you know, does it have an oil or an air filter on it, and what? weight oil should i use i would imagine 30 weight oil uh is the, is the oil straight 30 and okay. uh, to my knowledge the, the it would have a, an oil bath air cleaner but I, I i'm sure i'm not sure that it would have an oil filter on it if it did it would be an external oil filter that would be bolted on the outside of the engine and have uh, uh copper tubing or, or some kind of steel tubing running from the uh, from the engine's aorta up to the filter and back because it's you know that's before they had uh, filters that were screw on adapted to the block of an engine. Yeah, and we couldn't find anything like that, so we just weren't sure. And I didn't know if you might know. Well, I think that's where they said change your oil every thousand miles, <laughs> every thousand miles. Be. And I will tell you, you you talk about sloppy clearances. That engine. Uh, you know, you could take those pistons and, and mix and match and, and put them in any of the cylinders, and they still would fit. And uh, that engine, when it's new, probably had uh, four times the clearance, three times anyway, the clearance that d today's engines have after 100,000 miles. I mean, it's unbelievable. I, I was going to say, I guess when you're not going high speed like that, you don't need the, such tight clearances then, huh? No, but you know, I'll tell you what, uh, Henry Ford did do. Uh, the the, the uh, Model T uh, the actually was made to burn ethanol, uh, and and uh, then they had, we had electric cars back then. So, you know, there's really nothing new on this earth, not not a lot anyway. So I could reuse the regular ethanol, uh, the, I guess the e is it E10 or E15? Well, you're going to use E10 because yeah. you're not going to find any any, any un uh, ethanol. That's not going to hurt that engine. Now, okay. there 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 they there will be some cleaning out, but you've got an old car, so you can expect that you're going to have to tinker with it from time to time. I right. mean, you know, you drive 10 miles and you stop and tinker for 10, 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not that often. Well, I, I hope not to, to. I don't need to add a lead substitute to the gas then. It should be fine. <laughs> no, no, it should be fine. You, you shouldn't have. I mean, it's not like you're going to drive this to California, east, uh, left no. coast or right coast, right? No, mostly in town. Yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, Alan, thank you so much. I'll, I'll hey, send you a t uh, yes. I just want to tell you, your uh, blocket cover is fabulous. I, I have one for a Corvette in the garage, and it's fabulous. It protects the car from dings and stuff like that. It's fabulous. You, you have a great memory. I, I use the dust stop, which is, the, as you know, exactly what the, the cover that we're talking about. Yeah. Uh, from Kimberly Clark, from, from Block It, the, the umbrella. That, that's kind of neat, isn't it? The, uh, block It is the fabric, and then under the Block It umbrella, and that's under the car cover umbrella, you get it? Then you've got the uh, Noah Evolution and the Blockit. Blockit's the one that I use, and I've got one, two, three. I've got four Blockit covers because I have four ca four cars. Yeah. I've got too many cars. <laughs> so are you going to get a, a cover for the Model T? We we had thought about it. We we have a cheap one that came with the car when we bought it, but it's not near as good as the Kimberly Clark one. So I we hear might, you. might go out and purchase one. Well, do that. Do that. And let me know if you do. And let me know how the car runs, too. I, I appreciate your call, and we'll send you, uh, we'll send you a T-shirt. Thank you, Bob. You have that, a wonderful day and a wonderful program. I th really enjoy it. Thank you so much. Thanks for sharing your uh, Model T with us.